Hey guys, Davey here from phonebluff.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the USB slash Bluetooth Joy Center app from Google Play in order to map the games that don't work natively with your gamepad. For example, the Xbox 360 controller doesn't work with Modern Combat 3 over here natively, so I could actually use this app to make it work. So first thing you're going to need, of course, is the app itself, and uh, you can download it from Google Play. You're also going to need the little uh, plugin right over here, which is called Joy 2 Touch Plugin, and of course, you're going to need root access in order to be able to make this work. So first thing you're going to do, of course, is connect your controller to your phone. So I have my OTG cable right over here, got my phone, just gonna plug this guy into it. You can see the Xbox 360 controller is uh, flashing right now. And uh, up here, I got a little notification saying USB connected. Your phone may or may not do that. I have the Samsung Galaxy S3, so uh, in this case it did. Now you can see, actually I didn't plug it in all the way. Let me plug this guy in all the way. So we can see again, USB connector connected. This guy's just flashing normally, um, it's not actually on. When I open up the app itself, it says no devices found, that's because I opened it earlier. If I hit search again, it's going to scan USBs, and this time it's going to ask for permission to access this device that I connected. So I'm going to hit OK, and you can see it says Xbox 360 controller. I'm going to tap on it, and um, you have this option right over here. So anyway, what you're going to want to do first is up at the top left where it says IME, tap on it, and then select USB Joy IME right over here. I selected that, now you can see the flip has switched to on, and then at the right, uh, because you have root access, you can press this JT button, and you can see it's gonna ask for super user permissions. I already granted it, so it didn't ask me again, and uh, now what you're gonna wanna do is where it says touch edit slash M, just tap on this guy and program it to a button on your gamepad. So on the Xbox 360 controller, I'm just gonna do D-pad left, and then I'm also gonna do uh, touch edit slash s or dash s and I'm going to make it d-pad right on my controller so that way um, This basically brings up the menu to be able to edit the touchscreen uh, option So what are you going to do from here is hit back and then open up the game that you want to map for So in this case it's going to be modern combat 3 I'm going to hit resume and Now basically what I could do is I could actually tap the left d-pad button and you can see touch edit mode is on. So basically anywhere I touch on the screen, um, it's gonna be programmed. So the way you actually do it now is find out where what you wanna program first. So you can see I already have the two analog sticks uh, enabled on, on this game in particular because uh, some games, for example, when you go into the controllers, so let me go into options really quick and controls, it'll work you know, using this method with the, the screen tab where the whole left side of the screen controls your movement and the right side controls the other side. Um, for this particular game, you have to do it with the virtual sticks. It really depends on the game, so kind of test it out, but let's go ahead and figure out how to do it. So again, you're gonna press the, the uh, button that you set for the edit mode. It says edit mode is on. So I can see the left analog stick right over here. I'm gonna press and hold on it right here, and I'm gonna move this around. And you can see now, a little joystick showed up and I could actually move it around to control the uh, that area of the screen. Now if I want to do the right side, same thing, I'm going to press and hold right on it and I'm going to move the right side. You're going to hold it for a couple of seconds until it comes on. So I'm just going to like hold this the joystick on the right side up, I'm going to press and hold on here and there you go. Now you can see my joystick is working. The little grenade button, I'm going to press it, I want that to be LB, so I'm going to hold LB on my controller and press on the grenade button, press and hold it for a couple of seconds. Now you can see that little button showed up over there. Now, okay, someone just came in and shot me, but, or I, I threw a grenade at myself. So anyway, now I wanna do the zoom button right over here. So I'm gonna do uh, the left trigger for that. So I'm gonna press and hold left trigger, and then I'm gonna hold the zoom button, and there you go, you can see now, that's programmed. The run button, I'm gonna make that A. So I'm gonna press and hold A, press and hold on here, and it's been set. So uh, the next thing I'll do is the crouch button here at the bottom left. I want that to be LB. So actually I make that B, regular B. So I'm gonna hold B and then on my phone, I'm gonna press and hold right here at the very left corner. And now you can see that it's been set. Um, almost everything has been set. So the reload button's up here. I want that to be X. I'm gonna press and hold X. Press and hold the uh, gun button up here. And now that's set. And then uh, the start button is up here. So I want that to be start. So I'm gonna press and hold my start button on my controller, and then this area of the screen like that, and then 
To get out of edit mode, by the way, if you like, for example, if you get into the start menu, press this again, it automatically stays when you get out of it. Hit resume and uh, you can press it again now to continue editing. So right here's the, uh, another button. So you know what, that's good for now. Let's go ahead and show you how it works now. So you can see, now I can actually control, I'm actually using my controller to uh, control the game. Now before, nothing would work and now it's working. I haven't programmed the shoot button so I can't shoot so obviously I want to do that. I'm going to press, press this edit button again. The shoot button is right here as you can see. So I'm going to press and hold the right trigger and then press and hold on here really quick. And there you go, it's programmed. Press the left pad again. And now I can go around and start shooting people. I can zoom in. You know, I can do just about everything. I can throw a grenade, we're pressing LB. Reload, we're pressing RB. Or was it X? Oh, I programmed it to be X. Um, anyway, you guys get the idea. The sensitivity is kind of slow, so you might want to go back into the game and uh, go to options, and then go to controls and then sensitivity and increase it from here. But anyway, um, that's pretty much how you do it and this would apply for any game. I mean, just it's really easy to do once you get the hang of it. Um, really, what you have to do is make sure that when you go into the actual joystick app, once you've downloaded the plugin and installed it, is make sure IME, IME is on, make sure that this JT button is on and hit the back button to get out of it and then open up the app and make sure you've programmed uh, a button on your phone or on your gamepad to actually bring up the edit menu. So you can see on mine, the two edit menu or edit buttons have been programmed for left and right. You don't have to do one really. Obviously I did just the left one, but I like to do both just in case one of them doesn't work. But all right, so once you're done setting up your controllers and it works fine, you wanna go back into the joystick or joy center app and actually export your, uh, your settings because it's only gonna work for that one game. And obviously you're not gonna want it to be exactly the same for every game you program. So what you're gonna do is, once you're in here, you're gonna tap this little export button right over here, and then uh, export. So right now I'm gonna turn the IME off really quick because I won't be able to type the name I want. So it says, you know, X, this is a default name right here, but I'm gonna type in uh, MC3, so that way I know it's for uh, Modern Combat 3, and I hate autocorrect. MC3, done, hit export. And there you go, exporting data. Now it's saved, so now when I do another game and I edit the controls for that, um, I won't have to worry about it interfering with uh, this one. So anyway, that's it for me in this video. Hopefully that helps you out. Um, really awesome to be able to use my controller to play games like Modern Warfare, or Modern um, Combat. It's like Modern Warfare, but um, also works for Asphalt 6, which doesn't have native support. These three games over here have native support for the Xbox controller, so obviously you wouldn't need to do it for those games unless you wanted uh, custom controls, which you could do that as well. So. Anyway, that's it for me in this video. If you found it helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.